Johnny take it hard for a long time. Yeah. It's incredibly irritating to this one. One time uh, when my uh, youngest daughter was about uh, five, I, I caught her watching Barney. I think she was sneaky. Um, <laughs> and I said, you really aren't, you aren't watching that lame blizzard, are you? And she said, well, I know he's kind of dorky, but I, I really appreciate some of his thinking. <laughs> and I, you know, the, the be nice to people part is, is fine, but, uh, you know, some of his thinking actually comes from the, the very worst sources, and you'll see, uh, you'll see them here tonight. Uh, it is a great privilege for me to uh, introduce to you uh, Will Wheaton. who has uh, generously donated his time and, and also his willingness to actually touch that thing. Of course, I mean, in his, in his professional life, he's touched a lot of weirder shit than Marty, I think he should have. <laughs> Maybe in his unprofessional life. Uh, anyway, uh, if Will Wheaton is somewhere in here, I'm going to... Ah, there he is. Will Wheaton. It's tough to follow uh, one of your heroes, you know? So I'm going to do my best not to fuck up. <clears throat> um, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and uh, for supporting uh, what is unfortunately an extremely necessary cause, an urgent cause. Um, I, uh, I spent most of my life as an actor really just going off the cuff, but I have a tendency to rant and get distracted, so um, I, I wrote, actually, a thing to share with you all tonight. Um, so that I can keep you standing forever. That gets cheers, what? It's good to know you set your expectations nice and low. We already read it. You already read it. That is the power of the internet, and that's what I am fighting to preserve. R2-D2 beeps turn the page. <laughs> Copyright law is a good idea. It allows actors, writers, and musicians to create and own intellectual property, attach a value to that property, and hopefully derive a living from their creations. As an actor and a writer, I have a personal stake in making sure that copyright law is enforced. If I can't own the works that I create, then I can't feed my family. Now the music labels, publishing houses, and studios who release our creative works would have you believe that unless we strengthen existing copyright laws, their clever euphemism for eroding your rights to parody and free expression, all artists will suffer. Don't you believe that? As a negotiator for my union, the Screen Actors Guild, I have first-hand experience with these men and women who claim to care so greatly for artists, and I am going to call shenanigans. <laughs> the greatest danger to musicians is not to tell them, it's the label. The greatest danger to actors and filmmakers is not DCSS, it's the studio. These corporate masters care little for the artists who are filling their four-car garages with new Porsches and filling their private jets with fuel and hostesses. <laughs> what they do care about is controlling how you listen to music, how you watch movies, and increasingly how you discuss and react to our creations. Copyright law was best described by Lawrence Lessig as a balance between expression that the owners can control and expression that is left open to the commons. Right now, we are facing the complete destruction of that delicate balance. Corporations and their congressional lapdogs are doing everything in their power to ensure that the expression left open to the commons is forever removed, leaving only expression the owners can control. This is a terrifying statement which bears repeating. 
expression only the owners can control. Do you want your freedom of expression controlled by a studio or record label or a multinational corporation? No. Do you want Sony's goons kicking in your door because you call Shakira Sakira? <laughs> Do you want Paramount to have the right to tell you that you can't write that Star Trek fan fiction you've been working on while your wife is asleep? special session with Counselor Troy. <laughs> Do you want Best Buy telling you that you're a criminal for expressing on your webpage your constitutionally protected opinion that Best Buy sucks? <laughs> no! Of course we don't. We all value our freedoms of expression and our rights to satire and parody. Can you imagine a world without the onion? Or a world, a world without BB Spot or Satire Wire? Area men everywhere would fall silent. <laughs> this is not a world that I want to live in. <laughs> and no slash dot. Oh, yeah. The corporations would have us all moderated down, minus five troll. <laughs> the corporations know that they're wrong. They rightfully fear the internet and those of us who know how to use it. They don't like it when we step outside of the narrowly defined consumer culture they've created for us. They have seen expression left open to the commons, running counter to expression that the owners can control. And rather than respect our rights, they are working feverishly to destroy that all too delicate balance. Corporations regularly abuse copyright law to silence dissent. Best Buy, Walmart, Starbucks have all sent cease and desist letters to angry consumers who feel that they've been ripped off and, like me, have taken their case to the public via the internet. So, the corporations are shoving money in Congress and lawyers at us. Our fundamental rights are under attack by a terrified cabal of corporate monsters who have bought and paid for the Communications Decency Act and the DMCA and the CARP. And I say that the erosion of our rights stops right here, right now. I will continue. I will continue to parody public figures and I will continue to piss all over cherished icons. I will state on my website, in 100 point flashing red type on a blue background, Barney sucks. I will enlighten, I will empower, I will write, call, fax, and email my congressmen, deaf though they may be. Copyright law is not a tool of repression granted to an unaccountable corporation by a corrupt Congress at the expense of an ignorant public. It exists to protect and promote artists. Don't Go. ever forget that. Yeah. Tonight. Tonight. Here, now, we are ignorant no longer. And as ignorance goes, so goes complacency. The EFF has created an online library where you can research your rights at chillingeffects.org. Get online, get educated, and get involved. Individually, we can get angry. Together, we will make a difference.
in our desire to protect these ever-vanishing freedoms. And one of the absolute warriors at the front of this battle is Sherry Steele from the EFN.